Well, as we get started with this one, Joao Chianca, world number four, headlines the matchup. Baron Mamiya and Seth Moniz from the island of Oahu. Mamiya getting close to a top 10. Seth Moniz has been working through some injuries in real time, even had to miss out on an event. A lot of energy, the whole pack right in the same part of the point break and trying to man this position is Joao Chianca. The high seed demands the start and he's just much too deep. The rest of that wave is going to go unridden. Uh, warm up bikes, so you just, uh, Glenn Micro Hall in the background, warming up with Rio Vaeda. And then you can kind of wrap around and take a look. Out here, we got the hot tub bubbling down here. You can just take the next wave. Looks like there's multiple options in this set. So Seth Moniz decides to take the first one. The Hawaiian sets up a quick first turn, which is the opening maneuver of this heat. Nice wrapping cutback for Seth. Looks fired up, drills it off the top, nice pace off the bottom. Nice ripping cut back. Seth wraps it again. Rolls back into the lip line in this morning sunrise, floats it. Running out of room, but still goes for the reverse. Not much water left in there. See that rock just stacking up right in front of him. Yeah, we're up and running, and uh, Seth Manise is... Uh, well, he's looking pretty good on this one, Joe. Uh, you can see a little bit of texture on the surface, which does make it tricky when you get up into that sort of top third of the, of the wave. It's hard to, to take that long, smooth line, but Seth does well here. Gets, gets caught on that little foam bounce, but that's a better wrap there for Seth. Comes around this section again as we see the slow-mo. So on the front side, starts to get that heel side rail. Brings it all the way around, nice and smooth. And look how tight that turn is, staying right up in that top third of the wave here, comes around again. And just uh, a beautiful flow, and Seth just, uh, you know, it's that first wave jitters is always something that you need to, to get through as a competitor, first wave of the event, your first heat, you just want to ride it, you want to put a decent number on the board. And this is, uh, is going to be a fairly good wave here. So we see Seth just a little check turn down the line, comes through this inside section, a long projection floater and then finishes off with that uh, that air reverse attempt. Right, I mean, there's probably a 12 inches of water there. Right now, it looks like he's in a great position physically, as we'll see Baron Mamiya look to open up. Digs in for the carb to slide, tail release. He lets go of that one. Baron Mamiya and Seth Moniz. Richie, love it. This is what he was waiting for. Uh, let's have a look at this as uh, Zhao Chianka fangs down the line, a beautiful slice to start things off. A long projection floater set up this last turn. Bang, hits the lip. But no, hang on, he's got one more and just tags that final section. A big drifting re-entry. And uh, we're going to have a good number on the board, Joe. Gosh, so spring-loaded off the bottom. How about that connection? He almost could have gone for a snap and kind of a wrap carve. Great transition there. No, he did really well to time that and not overextend on that first turn because he could see that this wall was, was gunning down the line and this wave travels just so fast. Nice bottom turn here, gets vertical as he uh, drifts over the lip and then sets up this final turn here. Timing absolutely perfect here. Zhao hits the lip, drifts the fins and now eyes on uh, the landing. And a, uh, a great way for Zhao Chen. Notice little hiccups in your performance and style. Uh, wrong turn selection at different parts of the wave. But man, just for about anyone, they can take off and go as fast as they've ever gone on a surfboard. Chianka up again right after the 6.67. Strengthening his lead there. Rock and roll float. Setting up a nice fin drift. And he'll hang it all out the back. and complete on the final turn. You can see this one hit down the point a little bit. And uh, Joao just tags that first section. A little floater, and then this final one just pushing a little bit too hard. So if he made that, there was potentially another turn in there. Yeah, impressive just to see him try to really unload on the final section. Just ended up a little bit out the back. But since he was carrying a, a really small low score, a 2.5 now will be entered for this approach. Maybe he's seen one of these insider waves, but you know the other two are competitors. They can take this wave from him, but uh, let's see if it works out. Gianca first turn, blitzing the lip line, bowly section, attacking it again, moving incredibly quick. 
think for a lot of people that would have been a closeout, but two turns. They're right on the takeoff spot or the typical takeoff spot. Here's a replay, quick snap to start things off and then just rips through this section and then uh, just runs out of... Oh, just scratch underneath Seth and Barron one more time here. And just up and out, repositioning way for Chianco with 10.35 to go. Mm, he's busy, isn't he? He's uh, all over this lineup. And uh, our other two competitors, Seth and Barron, as we get into the event, you'll see it, it does slow up as it gets bigger, you know, six foot, eight foot even. Starts to break on that on that outer reef section, but here goes you out, up and running again. Staying so active. A little sweeping cutty to start, hitting the lip on turn number two. Some time to set up a bottom turn, and how about that? Aggressive hook in the pocket and attacking it to shut it down. What a great use of space. He was up the point just about a minute ago. Putting more pressure on Seth and Barron. What'd you see? Yeah, I saw uh, some really good surfing on this wave, actually. Quick snap to start things off. Keeps that board momentum running down the line. And this turn here, look how settled he gets before this one, then opens up, gets the carve and finishes strong. So uh, look, this is the beauty uh, of having third priority and a good score on the board. He can he can take these inside waves. Oh, it's impressive to see how much space he can create for himself. Being as quick as he is, and then all of a sudden it felt like he had all the time in the world for that section. He created that moment for himself. We, you talk about rhythm, rhythm of the sets, and, and Joao's just found it as we see a competitor up and riding. Bear Mamiya first turn, Finn throw, controls it. Slowing down a little bit, but he'll still attack the lip. Sitting for a while, so it's nice to see him just throw down some maneuvers. There's the carve to tail release. Takes off here and uh, instantly gets that fin drift. A little awkward with the landing, but tidies it up, gets straight back into the lip again, and, and a nice pace on this wave that allowed him to do these sort of more wrapping turns where he's cutting back into the foam. Time to make a move. Seth on the one behind him. Throws his snap to slide. Bowley section. Fins out the back. Winds up for a nice clean vertical. And Moni stays on his feet. So uh, four turns on that one and then Seth out the back. That was a, a nice turn there where he got the fins released. Tags it again then comes through. So a, a bit of a, a better ride for Seth in my mind. Uh, just had a, a better pace to that one, slightly bigger, and the turns were bigger as well. Just had a big wall that really just was reliable for Seth Moniz from the carve and then repeat verticals. Always they're going to look good. Yeah, you can see here just drifting over the lip. The board just drops down, back onto the wave face here. Seth resets. Takes more of a uh, more vertical line to get to the lip on that one. And you can see just exploded out of the top. And then finishes nice and strong with this final maneuver. And again, just gets that little fin drift there. Just uh, using the upper body, throwing the hands up a little bit. That helps. And that final inside section there. So uh, you can see again, those hands just keeping the momentum. Joao with priority, looking to better a 5-2-7. Or instead of... Gianca unloads. Great timing with priority and that first turn. Speed float to get out in front. Jams that cutty in the pocket, nice vertical again, but so much enthusiasm when he lines up the lip. His open face hooks are fast and speedy. And that 510 CI Pro is that first line running through. Chianka just scouring through the inside corner. That might actually take one last wave of the matchup. Entering the final minute, Chianka lays into a big open face hook. Sets up a nice connection off the top. Belts the fins out in a tight space. Seth now searching for a big ramp. Tail high, whip, upside down and incomplete. You're uh, not coming through the keyhole and just scouring up on the on the rocks at low tide. Looks like Baron Mamiya is going to get one more shot at it. Chasing an eight-point ride. Baron Mamiya setting up his first turn. Throws down the cutty. There's the float, and throwing the tail Whoa. into reverse. Explosive maneuver, but let's go of it on the landing. Also 3.5, Chianka officially gets the win and moves on to the next round. Seth and Perrin will be reseated in the elimination round as this event continues.